Hey YouTube, I'm going to be doing my top 5 baseball gloves that I own. Um, this is going to be top 5 in quality, opinion, favorite, um, stuff like that, how they're made and they're playing. So, number 5 would be my Wilson 8000 1786 ST. I love this glove, it is amazing. <laughs> Um, I highly recommend this to a shortstop third baseman. It's a little bit big for a second. Um, forms a nice pocket. Um, still going to be using this glove. I, these are pretty much the gloves I would use, all five of these, um, throughout a long time, probably the next five years. Because um, these ones I'm not getting rid of, except for one of them I'm pretty sure I just might have made a trade with somebody, but I'm... Yeah, a little bit iffy, but yeah, so this way, yeah, it's really nice. I'm not really going to do reviews on them because I have reviews on them. Go check them out, but it's a Wilson 8000 So that's number five. I'll line them up throughout there. Number four would be... <laughs> I'm still kind of deciding I actually didn't make this up, so I'll give you a look at that while I grab it. Number four would probably be right here. I will say 2K1787. Um, this one is pretty much four or number three. It's tied with my next glove, so they're kind of both four and three, honestly. They're basically the same glove, just different colors and different size. Um, dual roll welting. Phenomenal glove. Not one thing wrong with it. Not one thing. I actually plan on using this one a lot because that's how much I love it. It's not for trade or sale. Got some lace in there and in the heel. Didn't come with any in either one of those. And this glove is phenomenal. Um, Great glove. Number four and number three. So, number three, my dad dude. Um, some of you would argue this one or this one would be number one, but you guys will see number two and one coming up next. Um, both of these are phenomenal gloves. The only reason this one, the dad dude, isn't higher up, like number two or one, is because I literally, I just can't feel the ball in it. Um, at all, and I like to feel the ball as a middle infielder. Well, and then more mostly a shortstop when I'm not pitching. But like, I like to feel the ball, and you, can, I can't really do that yet with this glove. I'm not sure if it just needs to get broken in to feel the ball. But like that one, I could feel the ball the first day. First day I had it. Um, my pro preferred. I could feel the ball first day I had it. This one, I got my first stinger yesterday, and. Um, it's because I caught it right, right here on purpose, trying to feel the ball. But I never feel the ball in this. I'm not sure if I just need to get it used more, um, which I definitely will. It's not like I'm not going to use it. I'm definitely going to be my main glove when it breaks in. So that's why I got it. So check out my review on it. All these gloves in this lineup are 5 out of 5, 5 stars. So the 1788s are pretty much right there at number 5 too. I just like that one more because it's newer. So or the 1788s are amazing too. So they're 5 out of 5s. Um, and then the, the reason obviously the Mizuno Class Pro Soft and my Rowling Sandlot aren't in this is because they're not on par at quality, I don't think. So, well, obviously the Sandlot's not, but they're number one. They're pretty much number one and two in my sentimental column but they're not in this because of the, their quality is a little bit lower but both nice anyways so yeah it's five four three those ones are pretty much four and three um they're both amazing um so yeah um number two would probably be this one uh, the reason why these are over the A2Ks is because I just I think I like Pro Preferreds a little bit more. Um, that's just me though. That's part of the opinion part. 
Um, phenomenal. Wilson Rawlings, they, Mizuno never a stitch out of place in their $200 gloves about and up. The A1K didn't have a stitch out of place. That was a nice glove too. But it's my friend's, and I don't want to review my friend's gloves. It's theirs. So he might, he has a channel, I think. I'm not for sure. He might make one. But yeah, this glove is phenomenal. Holds its shape very well. That's my game glove. Uh, I love it. Five out of five, definitely. All these are, so. Um, that's number two. And number one, you guys probably guessed it. Um, this Rawlings Pro Preferred. There's not much of a difference between this one and that one. They actually have the same date code, but this one's just obviously a little bit newer, so it's going to go up ahead of it. But, uh, yeah, this is the one I might be trading for an H2R. I'm really skeptical about it. I'm not sure if I should do it. Um, the H2R is used a little bit, but I mean, it's in great condition. It's probably in this condition of this glove, um, the H2R, but it has no writing or anything on it like that. But it is cracking a little bit right here, the H2R, but that's the only spot. So I'm not for sure if I should do it because this glove is so amazing. Um, because I love it so much. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if I should do that deal. Um, I'm getting the H2R in like 10 bucks. <laughs> so, if I do it. So, yeah. I don't know if I should do it. I mean, this one's like brand new. But I want an H2R so bad. Um, but, I don't know, but yeah, this is number one, it's got great quality and everything, the petards is great, um, um, that's pretty much it, those are my top five gloves, five, four, three, two, one, so, yeah, I'm kind of a different area, I'm in my, I'm in like my main level area. usually do my videos up the stairs in my room but yeah so all great gloves phenomenal um i will definitely be using all of these getting the use out of them um obviously my game glove here my pitching glove that's another reason why i'm skeptical of trading it because it's my pitching glove and i'm not sure if i should trade it so yep Thanks for watching, guys. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, check out my Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.